What's up everybody, this is X Rainbow here. I'm here with my lesson number two of gold making on WoW. I'm recording this with a half fried graphics card so there is a chance I will black screen. So let's just hope that that does not happen. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some simple add-ons that I use, most of them that help me with gold making and a few that are generally just useful to have. Um, I'm going to do them in alphabetical order except for the first one because I think it's the most important of them all. So to start with I'm going to talk about the add-on Postal. What Postal does is basically it, it um, changes your mailbox UI. So as you can see here there are a lot of new buttons that you may not have seen before. Um, Postal is very customizable. It just makes mailing so much easier. Uh, for one, usually you'd have to click to remove each item from your mailbox, uh, like so, which can be horrible. But with Postal, you can just press Open All and it will take everything out of your bags. Um, I don't have much room right now, so I can't actually fill my bags, but um, it would slowly go through my whole mailbox and empty everything into my bags. Um, I can also stop it from taking out certain kinds of items. For example, if I didn't want any mails that contained items such as, you know, t mails of 12 items to be put into my bags, I could go into the arrow next to open all and I could untick open all mail with attachments. So any mail that someone has sent me with items attached to it will not be opened when I press open all. Um, however, that doesn't... Um, include items from the auction house so it will still open auctions I've won or I've cancelled but I can also you know untick those if I don't want them to be taken out of my mailbox similarly you can just press a tick next to the ones you want to take into your bags and press open or return which you know is kind of self-explanatory or return all those ticked mails to whoever you want to send them to um, apart from these options down here, you have more up here. Uh, for example, you can make it remove items from your mailbox faster or read mails faster, uh, like so. So you could make it remove one every one second instead of every half a second, or you could make it even faster. You can actually go into the add on files and make it even faster than this, but I personally do not see the point in doing so because you still have to wait a whole minute for your, your mailbox to refresh each time it's emptied. Um, so unless you're taking less than 50 mails out there's really no point in speeding that up. Um, it also remembers your alts and recently mailed people and people in your guild. Uh, so if you start to type in a name it will automatically fill that in. Which is just great because you know it can suck having to type someone's name out again and again. Uh, this is part of Trade Skill Master. It's a different add-on, which I will be explaining in another video. If you are interested in Trade Skill Master and you're clueless on what to do, I will be making an advanced add-on video purely for that add-on and all of its um, sections. So that's pretty much postal. It's really, really helpful for opening a mailbox. You know, you just press open or you go AFK for 10 minutes and everything is in your bags, assuming you have room. Uh, a lot of people use it when they have, you know, tons of successful auctions. You just press open or so you don't have to collect all the gold. The nice thing is when you have collected all your sold auctions or whatever, postal will give you a little total down here uh, of how much gold you took out of your mailbox in total which is great if you want to keep track of your gold. Okay, now for the alphabetical order of add-ons that I want to share with you. Uh, the first is Akis. I don't know how to pronounce this to be honest. I usually say Aki's recipe list, but I've been told it's also, it's actually Akis recipe list. So what it does basically, if you have a profession, you can press scan. This little button comes up here, scan. And it shows you all the recipes you are missing. I'm missing quite a lot because I don't like to farm rep on alts or anything or do dailies. I'm really lazy. Um, you can sort these recipes by various um, various types of information about them. Like, for example, you just sort them by name or you can sort them by where you get them. For example, uh, zones or raids. 
uh, or you can sort them by how you get them, etc. From etc. What am I talking about? Ex for an example, from mob drops, from reputation, uh, vendor recipes, which can sometimes be reputation as well. I think. Um, yeah, it's really useful if you are, you know, a collection addict like I am. I like to be complete. I say that, yet I am missing most of the items in the game, but I'm not very good when it comes to old school stuff, unless it's my main. Um, so that's it for this add-on. The next one is Altaholic. Altaholic, pretty much the name tells you what it's about. It's all about alts. I'm sorry, I'm being spammed with spells here. Uh, it's a little beer mug icon up here on my mini map. Um, comes up with all this information about my alts. So here I can see how much gold is on my alts, how much playtime I have. Oh, how embarrassing that is! 274 days playtime. Uh, the rested average item level, XP percentage. It's really useful. Um, you can link your professions on your alts from here. Um, there's just so much information about all your characters. You can look in, in guild banks, uh, look up your achievements. It's super, super, super. But my favourite part of this is the fact that you can hover over an item. And as you can see on the tooltip, it tells you how many of the item I own and where I can find them. Uh, as well as it tells you the same if you have those items on an alt or on a guild bank. So as you can see, I have a lot of these serpents I split up all over my guild banks, although actually I renamed my guild to a different name, so as it's counted both guilds, <laughs> I need to get rid of that later on. Um, so yeah, Altolic is great for tracking all your items, and it really helps me if I want to know how much of each gem I have on an alt or whatever, so I know if I need more, it's good for if you're making gold. Next up is Atlas Loot, which is basically a giant book of information about items in the game. For example, it's split into expansions. So, in Mr. Pandaria, if I wanted to know where I could go or what loot I could get from a specific dungeon, I could just you know choose it, choose the boss, and I can see here what drops from that boss, which is great if you need to know if anything beneficial will drop so you can be like ah oh my god boss please drop my item um, you can also look up factions and what their the rep rewards are uh, you can look up old school stuff you can look up tiers it's basically all the items in this game are here you can even search specific item names um, you can also try on items from here so you know if you just click on them it will go straight to your character I didn't. I didn't actually click shaman intentionally there, but I am a shaman, so that works out pretty well. My favorite part of Atlas Salute though is crafting. It has all the recipes uh, in the game, uh, pretty much all of them anyway. And so, if you want to know how to make something, you can just find it within the specific crafting area, or you can search it again in the search box below, and it tells you what items you'll need and any other information about that recipe. So that's one of my uh, favourite add-ons as well because it just helps me so much if I want to know what loot drops from a boss or how to make a specific item. My next add-on, sorry I'm looking at my list because you know I would just forget everything if I didn't have a list, is Auctionator. Now um, Auctionator is an auction house add-on. If you want to use an auction house add-on and you're new to gold making, I would highly recommend Auctionator. In fact, I'd recommend it for everyone. A lot of people tend to steer towards Auctioneer, which is actually quite outdated and not often used anymore because uh, there are other add-ons that can do what Auctioneer can do much faster, etc. Anyways, um, Auctionator it allows you to set up shopping lists. For example, uh, if I want to sell alchemy kits, I have a pre-made list here of items that can be that I can sell in an alchemy kit. If I click on these items, they will, it will just search for them, or I can search for all of them at one time and it will list them. Uh, but I don't actually want to do that right now because the server is quite laggy and uh, takes a while to search for everything. Um, so you can you can customize your shopping lists. 
uh, for some reason it's sort of bugged with those add-ons now, it's going straight to game interface instead of actual the add-ons config section. Ah, here's where I can be listed, recipe list, I don't want to go there, I want to go to auctionator. So yeah, you can make a shopping list, you can make new ones, you can edit them, whatever you want. Uh, you can also import uh, shopping lists from websites, people that have already made them for you, which can be really handy if you're lazy like me. My favourite feature about Auctionator, so I'm just going to turn my wow sound down slightly because it seems exceedingly loud. Um, there we go. My favourite feature is when you search for something, example, linen and cloth, I use linen and cloth a lot for this is for my examples, um, <coughs> it will list them by cheapest, and uh, note that it only actually lists buyouts. Oh, there's a lot of linen cloth on this auction house. Come on! Beep, beep, beep. What day is it today? It's a Wednesday. Oh, it's reset day. I, I've lost track of time. Uh, so, if you search linen cloth, it will show you the items that contain the phrase linen cloth. And, oh, there's a fly on my hand. Um, it will list them by cheapest first, which is really beneficial because, wow, that guy has a lot of linen cloth. Um, it doesn't matter, you don't have to worry about you know the default auction house putting stuff in the wrong order because it sorts by bid instead of by buyout sometimes, so you don't get the correct information you want. So here you know that um, the cheapest is always first, or you can toggle if you want to show the most, more ex most expensive first. Oh, I can't speak. Um, usually if it just if it shows five stacks of 20, it means one person is selling five stacks of 20, otherwise it would usually split them up, if I remember correctly. Um, you can also sell with Auctionator, and one of the great things about Auctionator is that it automatically scans the auction house when you place an item into the selling box, and it will show you, it will automatically generate a price that's cheaper than everyone else. Only slightly though, well it depends on your settings. Um, I should not show chosen such a popular item. So much scanning. So much scanning. Oh, da, da, da. Really? There's a lot of Alexandro on this auction house. A lot. There we go. So, um, the cheapest on the auction house right now is 146 silver. One gold forty six silver and it's it's put mine at one gold forty four silver, so I can just press, you know, create auctions here. You can also customize the amount you want to put on, like for I usually sell my gems in stacks of fives, but you know, you can have stacks twenty or and then it would automatically change the price for you. Um and if you press create, it will post them all for you like so. Um, that's pretty much Auctionator. There are options that you can mess around with, but I have never touched mine apart from shopping lists. Uh, next is Auditor. I have a lot of add-ons that start with A. Auditor is just a gold tracking add-on. Um, it shows you how much gold you make and how you make it. It also shows you how much gold you spend and how or where you spend it. Um, you can change the time frame to show you, you know, your total gold ever made and spent. I've made a lot and I've spent a lot, so I don't have very much left. But I have a lot to sell. Uh, that's pretty much auditor. It will also show you when you open your mailbox or spend gold how much you've spent down here. And that's pretty much it for auditor. Uh, five add-ons left to go. The first one is Bank Stack, which is not so great on such a busy realm. So I think I will swap to my alt because I need to swap to it anyways. Okie dokie, so I want to now show you Bank Stack again on my alt. Um, what I love to use bank stack for is damn my kill bank is empty. Haha. <laughs> I took everything out of it. Okay. Um if I put a bunch of random crap into my kill bank, 
let's just say this was already here because you know I'm lazy. Um, if you see this icon, uh, bank stack, it has a bunch of shortcuts. And if I wanted, for example, to sort my guild bank, I could alt click this icon like it tells me to, and it will automatically move everything into. Uh, well, how do I say this? It would organize everything for you. Put all the correct items together, and I don't. I'm not hundred percent sure what it sorts them according to because it seems very random. Um, well obviously it has some sort of system. I don't know if it's alphabetical or item level. I don't think it's either of those things. Uh, maybe it's via item number. I'm not hundred percent sure. But uh, Bankstack does other some other things as well. But I don't use those options because I have another add-on that does those in a much more beneficial way to me which I'll be talking about in a second but first I want to talk about I forget the name of the add-on uh, Crap Away well Crap Away is one of many similar add-ons I just want to quickly go through it basically what it does is it automatically vendors any grey items you have in your bags I unfortunately don't have any grey items in my bags right now, but, um, whoa, lag spike, um, that was strange. If you have greys, for example, after doing dungeoning or leveling, when you click on a vendor, it will automatically sell them all, um, and you can just walk away, and it, your bag sort of emptied, and you would have got all the gold. It just makes things fast, if you don't have time to vendor everything, and I look what is a grey quality, and right click it all, which takes far too long. Um, I personally don't know what other add-ons there are that do that. I know there's like you know, 10, 20 of them because they all have the same feature, which is just deleting, well not deleting, but selling greys to vendors automatically. But I like crap away because it has the word crap in it, I guess. Um, okay, this is my farming character. If you like to farm um, you know, herbs, ores, whatever, then I would recommend two add-ons. The first is Gather Mate 2. Woo, my lag spiking is. Um, I don't usually have this. I think it's because my graphics card is fritzed. At least I haven't crashed yet. Anyways, uh, so if I were to turn on. Well, it's already turned on. Fine herbs and fine minerals. And then to look at my map. Once I get out of this zone. As you can see here, my map is covered in icons of ores, herbs, uh, chests. You can customize uh, Gathermate to on what you want it to show you on the map, the size of the icons, etc. It's really really helpful if you're farming because you can see exactly where the ore spawns and you can just follow that path around. Um, if I have mine set to show herbs and if I'm if I if I click find herbs, it will show me herbs. If I don't, then they'll disappear. So if I turn off find minerals, you can see on my map that they've all disappeared. There's only herbs and chests. Uh, chests are really good to have on your map because when you're questing on a low level or something, you, you may have no idea a chest could be spawning there. You have a look, you could find a rare item worth a few thousand gold if you're lucky. Uh, so it's always good to have. If I go into its... Uh, options. I know that there are a lot of things that it shows. Uh, it shows uh, fish pools, gas clouds for engineers who can collect that kind of stuff. Uh, her herbs and ores, obviously. Then it shows all these treasure items where you can collect something. For example, you can get clam meat or pearls from giant clams which spawn in some areas of water. Uh, some really a glow cap, I don't even know what glow cap is, I know it's a herb but it's not actually, you don't need to be a herbalist to collect it or something, I, I can't remember to be honest. Uh, lock boxes for levelling your, your lock picking, if you even have to do that anymore. Onyx eggs, that's a great one for wrap, same as netherwing eggs. Mysterious camel figure if you want that rare camel, it's just so many things that it shows, it's really really good. So I I always use Gathermate so I know where I'm flying. But if you're going to use it, then make sure you download Gathermate data or Gathermate 2 data because otherwise you won't have any icons on your map. 
usually you have an empty map and each time you collect something it will put an icon on the map to record that you collect something there but if you're too lazy to go and collect everything yourself first then just import that data which is a separate add-on um, and it will have everything there for you uh, the next thing is if you sell profession kits or you want to, to farm specific amounts of certain items then I would really recommend um, farm it too which is this huge add-on across some of my bars. This is here is customized for alchemy kits. So I go around and I uh, get all these items and once I've gotten them I know that I have an alchemy kit to sell. Uh, if I can just find a herb, yep here is one. Uh, silver leaf, yes I need that. So as you can see it shows me my progress. I've got two more silver leaf and it's updated up here so it shows a little two down there. You can customize how much of each item you want um, as well as you can drag these about and what you can if I can remember the right key bind. That's not it. Uh, I'm going to break this add-on in a second. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't, oh dear I deleted it. Well yeah you can click and delete them as well. I have, I have not used this add-on in a long time so you know I have no idea what I'm doing. No that's not the one I want either. I <laughs> honestly this is a great add-on. Uh, I just don't remember how to use it. Um I have one more add-on I want to show you which is J Pack, which if I heart stone it sorts your bags but it also sorts your bank. Uh unfortunately it doesn't sort your guild bank, but um you can sort your guild bank with bank stack, which is why I have bank stack. It's the only thing I use it for. Otherwise, I use JPack. Um, loading screen, go faster, please. Okay. No. Yes. No. Okay. My graphics loading is slower than usual because I think it's dead. How the hell? Where do I go? I I'm lost. I don't come here anymore. Okay, so if I can get to a bank, which would be great right about now, I'm not even a cat, but I am. I'm just running really fast in Tauren form. Totally normal. I'm just a super speedy Tauren. Okay, let's get to my bank, yeah. what do you want? which is unfortunately already organized, so let me just screw that up. Nope, that won't go there. That won't go there. No. Okay. If I just... Okay, that's good, good enough. Okay, so if I type slash jpack, which is the command, uh, no, slash jp, sorry, um, it then sorts my bank according to what my bags, what kind of bags I have, what the items are. As you can see, it's sorted all the gear at the bottom, and then it's got uh, some ores, some gems, the silks at the top, herb stuff has gone to the herb bag. Um, I should have had a messier account ready to show you its full potential, but it's really, really good if you have extremely messy bags, which I always tend to do. So those are all the add-ons that I wanted to talk about today, and they're all really, really, really good. There's a few more that I use, but I probably will put them on another video because this one is already extremely long. Uh, so thank you for watching, and my next video will be about how to make gold when leveling. So thanks for watching in. Watching in. I was going to say watching or tuning in and I mix them. I do that a lot lately. So yeah, thanks for watching in my show. Whatever that means. Bye bye.